Several people charged for hunting illegally at an East Austin park. A school in that area reported hearing shots fired for years. That prompted Texas Parks and Wildlife to set up cameras, eventually catching people who they think had been hunting hogs. It's a story we first brought to you last month when we received tips from viewers about that situation. KXN's Sarah Alshay has the update as well as the rules in the hunting feral hog area in public or in private spaces. We haven't heard anything in weeks. Finally, some peace and quiet for Austin Discovery School. For years, Superintendent Lisa Anderson says they heard the sounds of shots come from John Trevino Junior Metropolitan Park off FM 969 in East Austin, leading to several lockdowns. A safety precaution just to make sure that there was nothing going on that anyone would get hurt. The school brought the issue to Texas Parks and Wildlife, prompting the department to add signs and surveillance cameras in the area. Just last week, we got several videos from one of the cameras and, and there were some dogs that were running by that appeared to be like hog hunting dogs. Officials arrested six people, all charged with criminal trespass, five of them charged with hunting without landowner consent. And when it comes to hunting feral hogs, the law changed back in 2019. Requirement for a hunting license was eliminated as long as you're on private property and have permission to be there. If you're on public property, you're still required to have a hunting license. This 330 acre park is currently closed off to the public. Part of it will be developed as a public park later this year. Still, even when it opens, hunting is not allowed according to a city ordinance. The update, welcome news to the school, a sign they can go outside more, enjoying all the nature around them. Hiking is a huge part of what our campus does. Having that outdoor learning as well is just a huge component of who we are at Austin Discovery School. Sarah KXAN News. Anderson says officials held a town hall for the school where they assured families they would continue monitoring the area.